In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we are about to celebrate the feast of nativity of Blessed Virgin Mary, I'm happy and glad to wish all of you happy greetings of the feast of Blessed Virgin Mary in advance. I happened to read a book and it was in fact a very small booklet. Cannot call it a book. And it was the Holy Mass. And it was nothing but the testimony of Catalina that took place somewhere in America. And I was, as I was reading, it was really interesting. And I read the whole book, maybe in one or two hours time. It was nothing but Mother Mary helping and teaching Catalina to offer the Mass, to participate in the Holy Eucharist. I have always thinking, what is the relation of Mother Mary with the Eucharist? She was the first tabernacle, yes. She was the first person to carry Jesus in her womb, yes. She was the first tabernacle. And who gave Jesus the flesh and blood? And it was Mother Mary. Yes, there is nothing wrong what we eat today as Jesus' body and blood. is also body and blood of Mother Mary. In the book, we can see the whole Holy Mass is depicted. In this book, we find Catalina was led to the church, standing beside her and telling her, Why were you led to the church? You should come five minutes in advance. Yes, go to the church early for the Holy Mass. When you go to offer the Eucharist, go early and think of all your sins, all that you have to offer. As Mother Mary continues her advice, she also makes Catalina to think of the sins she had forgotten. The sins we have forgotten, Mother Mary will remember us. And then that leads to a perfect participation of the Holy Mass. And this happens only through Blessed Virgin Mary. Call her when you go to celebrate the Holy Eucharist. And she advises Catalina that you should have something to offer in every Holy Eucharist. You should have some intercessions. You should have some prayer petitions. She explains like some angels going and few angels went taking a white plate and they had nothing to offer because the persons, they were the angels of the persons who offered nothing in this Holy Eucharist. There were of silver petitions, they went in the silver plates and there were also angels going with the golden plates who had surrendered the whole life, who had such a serious intentions in their life. While they celebrated Holy Eucharist. And she advises it. And Mother Mary is helping us here. She is helping Catalina. And teaching her how to participate in the Holy Eucharist. She was also teaching her when to ask God. When priest takes body of Christ and says this is my body. Mother Mary said ask whatever you want. God is ready to give because he has given himself. He is giving himself to you. He is giving his body and blood to you. And it is the place where he can give whatever you want. Put yourself into the chalice. Put yourself so that it transforms and becomes one with Christ. Your intentions becomes one with Christ and it will be fulfilled. And for this, Mother Mary helps. She is the mother of the Eucharist. She was the one, the first person who participated in the Holy Eucharist with full attention, with full concentration, with everything to offer. She offered herself, she offered her own and all that she had in the Holy Eucharist. Yes, she was the first person on this earth who participated so well in the Holy Eucharist. So she would be a very good teacher for each one of us teaching how to participate in the Holy Eucharist. So, let us call Mother Mary. I do not mean that there are in some churches, I have also seen people praying rosaries during the Holy Eucharist. No, it is always Christ first. Then comes Mother Mary. You can intercede to Mother Mary, not during the Holy Eucharist. Let us ask Mother Mary. Mother Mary, be with us. I always do a sort of conversation to Mother Mary as I participate in the Holy Eucharist. 
and i ask mother mary what shall i give today what do i have to offer and mother mary reminds each and everything that i have to offer in the holy eucharist each and everything that i have to offer to god all the blessings that i have to receive mother mary helps us so let us ask intercession let us go to church at least 5 minutes earlier there are people in many churches i have seen people praying rosary before the holy eucharist begin before the holy mass begins and that's a very good practice once you ask the intercession of blessed virgin mary and you participate and offer the holy eucharist it will be the best eucharist in your life Yes, dear friends, let us call Mother Mary into our life, into help us and teach us to participate in the Holy Eucharist. Because she was the first tabernacle, she was the person who has donated her flesh and blood for us, and she is there. Our loving presence is so live during the Holy Eucharist. Feel the presence of Blessed Virgin Mary during Holy Eucharist. The whole heaven comes down. during the holy eucharist and mother mary will be next to the altar ignatius loyola said mother mary gave jesus only once in her life and priest gives every day yes mother mary was the one who gave jesus to her lord and she was the first priest there is nothing wrong in telling that so let us ask mother mary to help us and guide us in the life of this eucharist our whole life was the life of eucharist it was a big eucharist that she offered throughout our life so let us pray to mother mary to help us to guide us to teach us to monitor us in regard with the holy eucharist because she is the mother of the holy eucharist in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen